The clean air plan being considered by Liverpool City Council would represent a huge change in how people would travel around the city. The plan, which is part of the city's target to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2030, suggests that to improve the air quality of the city to acceptable levels, a clean air zone would need to be installed in the city centre. This would involve charging motorists based on their vehicle emissions access to the city centre. Along with this, there is a plan to help companies who run taxis, buses and freight vehicles to convert to lower emission vehicles to help comply with regulations. Councillor Laura Robertson Collins says that these changes are necessary. There's no question that clean air action is needed. Um, but there are, you know, we've had alarming reports over the last months and years and from the British Lung Foundation and so on that shows the impact on health. You know, that are independent reports from outside of the council or government. So the clean air plan is about how we tackle that as a city. The clean air zone may happen. That is not an absolute given at this stage. What, it's, what the clean air plan is saying is that to get to the levels of compliance that we need to get to as a city, it's likely that we would need something as, as you know, as, as hard-hitting, if you see what I mean. The council is set to vote on whether to go forward with these proposals this Friday. Reporting for Liverpool Life, Rory Walsh.